Okay, folks, so uh, today's tips for keeping your dog's uh, teeth clean and healthy, pretty simple. Um, just want to uh, make sure you know that it's equally important to keep your dog's teeth clean, um, just as it is to keep your own teeth clean, believe it or not. Okay. Now, according to the American Animal Hospital Association, nearly two-thirds of dog owners do not provide the veterinarian recommended guidelines for dog dental care. So um, you want to make sure that you're at least doing something to keep your dog's mouth healthy. Periodontal disease is the most common clinical condition in adult dogs, and most dogs have some form of the disease by the time they turn three years old, which is pretty young, right? Now, just like us, dogs can experience plaque buildup if we don't take proper care of their teeth. This just turns into tartar, and the tartar accumulates around the gum lines, and it causes irritation and eventually leads to gum inflammation, um, which is better known as gingivitis. This is bone and soft tissue loss and gum disease. Bacterial infection can also lead to tooth loss and complications of the heart, lung, or kidney as your dog ages. The good news is that with regular dental care, these diseases are preventable. preventable. So what you want to do now is uh, learn how to brush your dog's teeth at home. The gold standard for dog oral care at home is brushing. Here's some tips for getting started. Um, first, get your dog a toothbrush of some sort. I um, mean, you can get double-ended toothbrushes with a large head on one end and a small end on the other. Uh, small head on the other end. You can get a single-headed toothbrush for it, or you can take advantage of a finger brush, which a lot of people are really comfortable with because you can actually get in there um, a lot better. Don't forget when you're brushing, it's not just the outer surfaces like you. You're going to have to get in on the back side of the teeth to ensure cleanliness. So get your dog used to the idea of having his teeth brushed. Keep the session short and positive. Um, to begin with, if you're completely unfamiliar with it, you may want to dip your finger in a beef bullion and, and, and perhaps massage his lips in a circular motion, um, 30 seconds to 60 seconds, once or twice a day for a few weeks, and then move on to the teeth and gums. You're going to wrap your finger in gauze. You're going to place a toothbrush at a 45 degree angle to the teeth, and you're going to clean in small circular motion, lifting your dog's lips if necessary, because the side of the tooth that touches the cheek contains the most tartar. I'm going to concentrate there for my dog that's on the upper teeth, the big teeth in the back. Those um, are always the worst. Now, when you're almost finished, please brush vertically toward the inside of the mouth to clear away any plaque that you've dislodged. Again, you want to use a brush design, especially for dogs. Don't, don't buy a kitty toothbrush. Don't buy a soft adult uh, dog brush. Don't do that. Use a brush that is designed as especially for dogs. It is smaller than a human toothbrush. It has softer bristles. So uh, toothbrushes that you can wear over your finger are also available. So you're going to use toothpaste designed for dogs. Using your own toothpaste can cause distress and upset your dog's stomach. So um, be mindful of that. Develop a regular cleaning routine for your dog. Consistency is the key. Please brush your dog's teeth at least two to three times a week. Once a day brushing is ideal, right? You're brushing your teeth. You're going to make time to brush your dog's teeth. That may be a little bit of a fantasy. For a lot of us, we have regular jobs. You know, we're on the go each and every day. But the better you are at keeping a regular routine, the easier it will be on your dog. And the more likely he or she will start uh, will be to, to start to respond positively to you brushing your teeth. So um, it will also help you to remember to keep your teeth clean and healthy as you start to commit to a regular cycle. Wait, we have a little visitor down here. Um, so please check for telltale signs between the veterinary visits. Um, now, veterinary visits, we're talking about at-home care, but um, veterinary visits are important. Say hello. 
<laughs> she wanted to stop by every month, so. So veterinary visits um, can be expensive, three to five hundred dollars per visit for a proper dental cleaning and blood work. Your visit will start um, with blood work. Please be aware of that. And the vet will let you know whether or not the dog is healthy enough to undergo uh, anesthesia for the procedure. Remember, they're going to flinch, fight, pull, resist. So we've got to knock them out in order to get back there in those big teeth and do a, a proper cleaning. So between your vet visits, be sure to check your dog for these important warning signs. Bad breath. Dogs can have bad breath for a variety of health reasons, including dental disease, swollen and or bleeding gums, difficulty eating, yellow and brown tartar deposits on the gum line, and then again, also um, excessive drooling. So you'll want to watch for that in between visits. If you notice any of these warning signs, um, make an appointment with your vet if you can. Your vet may recommend a professional dental cleaning, which, uh, as I mentioned earlier, begins with the blood work to determine if the dog is healthy enough to undergo the anesthesia. Now, if the dog is, is healthy, um, is healthy enough, um, then the vet will um, discuss further with you um, what's going to go on in the, in, the, in the procedure. Now, what, what you could expect with a comprehensive cleaning uh, is a complete oral exam and x-rays to identify problems under the gum line, a full cleaning under the gum line to prevent periodontal disease, a professional scaling to remove plaque and tartar buildup on the crown, and then polishing the teeth to prevent plaque and, uh, and bacteria. So um, when you are selecting toothpaste, make sure it's a specifically formulated dental um, dental toothpaste um, just for your dog. And also when you're feeding your dog, make it easy on yourself between visits so that these problems are less likely. You can pick up a specifically formulated dental dog food and or a treat and slow down the formation of tartar and uh, avoid the onset of dental disease. Um, I know that um, Science Diet is a good one um, if you're looking for that and they offer um, several formulas uh, for, uh, for oral health. So um, again, keep that in mind, but you'll find lots of different brands out there with options for small dogs. If you have a small dog like I do, like, uh, like Sophia, then um, uh, there's a lot of good options out there for, uh, for smaller dogs. So it doesn't just keep your teeth clean. It offers proper nutrition for the dog and for the dog's teeth. And it's available in, um, in small dogs. Isn't that right? All right. So that will pretty much cover oral health and DIY tips that you can do at home for keeping your dog's teeth clean and healthy. Remember, you want to avoid periodontal disease, bad breath, swollen gums, and um, other, other problems. Try brushing your dog's teeth two to three times a week. Again, once a day brushing is ideal if you can achieve it. Otherwise, two to three times a week is a good schedule to be on. Watch out for difficulty with eating, yellow and brown tartar deposits on the gum line, excessive drooling, and bad breath. Now, bad breath, where a lot of people are familiar with this, dogs can have bad breath for a variety of reasons, health reasons, including dental disease, so please watch out. Now, cost. Cost is um, it's exorbitant, so I, I do want to touch on this uh, just a little bit. Again, three to $500.00. Uh, for dental cleaning can be a lot to handle. Lots of veterinarians offer care credit for your office visit, or they do offer insurance plans. Um, you can shop independently over, over the net, or perhaps even inquire with your current insurance provider for options for paying for um, insurance plans for your animal. If you do not have insurance 
insurance coverage, then you can utilize an insurance alternative to help with the cost. In a previous video, I did discuss um, Pet Assure as an option for um, caring for your pet. They all often uh, they they have an option for you for a single pet, or if you have a family of pets, two or three pets, or maybe five or six pets. And Pet Assure covers all kinds of pets, not just cats, not just dogs. Some of us have exotic pets, and so um, you'll need a provider that will will tend to those needs. It's really very simple. I will leave you a link in the description box below um, to enroll your pet. It takes less than two minutes. You'll take your ID card uh, to a local network veterinarian, and that will allow you to save 25 cents, 25% uh, instantly. The vet will give you an instant discount on all in-house medical services. Um, what's included with the discount, again, there's a lot of different options, but at the very top of the list, dental cleanings, dental exams and x-rays, routine care and vaccination, okay, wellness visits, surgical procedures and uh, emergency care and more. So all of that can come into play with your dog's oral health. You want to make sure that you've got coverage there um, if you can. Now, PetAssure is not an insurance plan. It is a discount plan, but I will place some emphasis on this fact. Um, you can combine it with your current insurance coverage. Makes sense? So if you've got an insurance plan that will cover a good portion of the visit, fine, but then this 25% will also apply to the prices. So again, for example, if your average cost for a doctor's visit is $45, your saving is going to be $11.50 on that. A vaccination, $118 is the average cost. Your savings will be $29.50. So without getting too much further into that, just to let you know, um, you do have options there. All right, moving on. <laughs> um, Oral health care. Now, here's here's the um, here's the purchase that I wanted to share with you. This is you can see that pedigree small dog complete nutrition. Um, this is important because um, this can help with the dental. Um, you'll notice here on the back in red. Um, this brand shows you. And it's 100% complete and balanced food for adult dogs, oral care, immunity, digestion, skin, and coat. So then you can make it easy on yourself between um, office visits, dental cleanings for your dog. Invest in a food that will also uh, take care of their teeth. Now, this is for a dog with a, a small bite. It has no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors, has no added sugars. It's 100% uh, percent complete and balanced food for, um, for a, adult dogs. Take advantage because um, as they feed, uh, this helps with removing plaque, right? So it's going to make it a lot easier for your um, your toothbrush sessions. You won't have as much work to do because the food you feed is um, helping to care for for them in the meantime. So um, again, I thank you very much for tuning in today and uh, to learn with us a little bit more about the dental. Um, one other fast fact that I want to share with you is. Um, you can also um, access pedigree in pouches. This is a three and a half ounce pouch that um, goes with this dry food, right? So if you want to give them variety, this is a great way to do it. You can mix it up. You can add in dry food. You can replace half a cup of the pedigree adult complete nutrition with one pouch of the wet food and there you have it 
So this will feed your dog for quite some time. This particular, uh, this particular bag, if you've got a really tiny dog, a small dog up to five pounds, they're only going to require one quarter to half a cup of food um, each day. So this is going to uh, essentially last you maybe one month. It's three and a half pounds of dry food and a three and a half ounce pouch of wet food. So that should last you for a while. Um, Chewy.com is an excellent source for um, for getting your pedigree small dog, dry dog food. It's a list price of $5.99. If you're going to go with auto ship as we do, then your price is now $4.87. Again, that's three and a half pounds of food for just $4.87. It's a 19% savings. You save $1.12. So again, I will leave your link in the description box below. Um, again, this is a very popular food. It's been around for many years. Lots of us dog owners know and love uh, pedigree because it's complete balance and it's full of flavor. And again, you can mix it up. Now, also, if you're looking for other products that are going to help you to make uh, snack time extraordinary, they do offer other dental care products that um, are good for your dog. So dentist sticks and other products will uh, add more variety uh, to their diet. Now on the review, if you're a stickler for reviews as I am, um, I just wanna let you know on the star system, this product was reviewed by no less than 138 people. And 99% of reviewers recommended this product. It has 4.7 out of 5 star rating. Excellent price point, a lot of food for the value, and again, really, really good reviews. So again, you'll find this information listed at Chewy.com. And again, thanks again for visiting with us. Hop over to the website doggyperspective.com and we will see you in the next video.